Welcome to IA Investment Management Macroeconomic and Market Update. Today we're discussing our macro and asset classes outlook, performance of our this year, and the team stick for year end. My name is Rose Marcello and I'm Director of Client Portfolio Manager at IEIM. With me today for this conversation is Jean-René Adam. Jean-René is Senior Vice President of Head of Public Equities. Jean-René heads the public equity team. Welcome, Jean-René. Thank you. So We've had a terrifying first half of the year, and we feel like right now we might be at a turning point. Is that your analysis of the situation? Yeah, it's a it's a good question. It's a difficult question to answer. What I can say clearly that I feel that right now we're in a much better position than we were at the beginning of the year. And, and the reason is that the stock market right now is discounting a difficult environment. And so the situation has changed so much and so rapidly that we tend to forget that a little more than six months ago, so in, in December 2021, there was the Omicron wave that hit the world. And at that time, we didn't know how dangerous it was. Uh, and so we went through lockdowns, the economy stalled, and, and at that time, uh, it's difficult to, to think about it, but you know, the 10-year bond yield in the U.S. went to 135, and there was uh, no end in sight in terms of, mm-hmm. uh, of the virus, really. And then a few weeks later, everything changed really rapidly. We kind of realized that the Omicron was not as dangerous as thought. And uh, we realized that uh, there was too much money in the system and that inflation would be a big problem uh, in 2022. And we needed really higher interest rates in order to, to fight it. And I think that was the brutal awakening for the market. And this is why the correction in equity was so strong, because it was unexpected and it cut investors off guard. And this is not the case anymore. So we've been in a little of a rally, let's say in June, uh, late June, early July, and all throughout maybe last week. Do you think the current rally is sustainable? And in terms of volatility, what's your outlook for the second half of the year? Yeah, again, I mean, what, what I really like, and continuing on what I've just said, what I like about the current situation is that we know very well what's the risk, right? The risk is is inflation. Uh, and, um, and, and the other risk is that to fight for inflation, we have got to increase interest rates and then, you know, the economy will be impacted. Uh, the good thing is that also we acted on that risk, right? Central banks have increased interest rates dramatically and very rapidly and will continue to do so also. Uh, second thing is that the stock market has adjusted for that difficult environment and for that risk, really. And so what does it mean? It means that the stock market is uh, way cheaper than it was at the beginning of the year. So just look at uh, the S&P 500 index, for instance. So if you look at the valuations of the forward price earnings multiple, and that has gone from 23 times uh, earnings to 17 times as, as we speak. And uh, as you can see on the chart here, and, and, and then it's pretty much the same case for uh, all indices all over the world. So the TSX here in Canada, it went from 15 times to 11 times earnings. And then the Russell 2000 in the US for the small cap went from 26 to 15 times. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is that a, a big part of that difficult environment is, is priced in right now. And so the big question now is that, you know, what will be the effect of higher interest rates on the economy and will we go through a, a recession? And so we all know that there's a lag effect uh, between, you know, the moment the Federal Reserve or central banks increase interest rates and, and the full effect on the economy. So it takes a few quarters. We'll know better uh, probably in the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, in the meantime, though, I feel that the multiple contraction in the stock market that we've seen, I think already discount kind of a mild recession. Obviously, if the recession is uh, deeper, I think, you know, the market will need to go a little lower. Uh, one, one thing, though, that I feel people uh, tend to forget is that, you know, if you go through a recession, everybody's worried earnings will go down. We know that. And this is something that will happen. But the positive, the silver lining of that and the positive uh, effect of a recession is that, you know, obviously it will it will kind of help uh, putting inflation back to a more reasonable level, right? You know, for inflation, you have always demand and, and supply, and then the demand will go down. So it should help inflation go to probably a level that central banks are more comfortable. And so, so so the next thing is that what how the market react to that. So usually what you will do is that, you know, the, 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 the stock market is looking forward. 
So which okay. means that you'll start to pay a little more for uh, your stocks and, 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 and the stock market. And so you go through a multiple expansion. And so, you know, this is what's interesting. So usually the stock market will start to go higher uh, in, in a recession. And when earnings are still going down because we're looking past the recession. Um, and so I think that's maybe what's explaining right now the rally that we're seeing. So I think mm -hmm. investors currently are, are kind of pricing the end of the increase in interest rates from the Federal Reserve. Uh, and that, you know, a lot of people are thinking that maybe the last increase will be in September. And if it's the case, I think that the rally is uh, is justified. OK, the rally is justified in mind is sustainable. Markets are forward looking. Most bad end lines are already priced in and we might even look through the market, might even look through the earning recession to come. So if we're trying to position ourselves for the long term, what are the sectors that you're seeing opportunities right now and that you'll be monitoring for dislocation? Yeah, I think at this point, you know, I would favor areas of the stock market that have already corrected meaningfully and that are discounting a very difficult environment. So whether because of a possible recession or because of uh, the effect of higher interest rates on on the valuation. So I think if we do that, uh, the downside the downside risk is is more limited, and I think there's a you know pretty good pretty good upside. So the first uh, opportunity I'm seeing is uh, looking at all the growth stocks, uh, technology stocks, or even thematics. Yep. Uh, they've been hit very hard and not so much because of a expected uh, weaker economy, but more because of higher rates and the effect on valuation and especially the, the more expensive names. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you look uh, in more detail, uh, the business model, you know, of most of these companies hasn't changed really. Uh, and, and the difference is that the, the valuation is at a more interesting level after the sizable correction that we've seen in the first half. So that's that's the first thing. Uh, second area I would look at would be the REITs. Uh, they have suffered also because of higher rates. Uh, so two reasons for them. First of all, the, their business model, they have a higher debt level. So mm -hmm. higher interest rates obviously will have an impact on costs. So that's the first point. The second one is that they, they tend to pay a higher dividend. So when interest rates increase, uh, you know, that dividend uh, becomes a little less appealing because you have option. You can buy bonds at the higher rates, right? Uh, but what I like about REITs is really it's a, it's a great edge against inflation, uh, right? The the assets that they own, the buildings, really are re rising with inflation, and also you know they tend to uh, more easily uh, pass on the increase in inflation to their customers also. And so the last point I would I would I think is an opportunity would be the Canadian stock market. Mm -hmm. um, I just mentioned it; it's it's very cheap uh, trading at close to 11, 12 time earnings. And and also something that I, I think is maybe misunderstood by the market is that earnings growth this year for Canada is going to be very strong. So probably around 20 percent. And if you compare that to the S&P 500, uh, that would probably grow earnings by by around 5 percent. And you can see that on, on, on the chart here. And, and maybe a last point now that I've discussed opportunities, maybe uh, something that I would warn investors, I would be more cautious would be, you know, if you look at all the defensive stocks and sectors that people bought lately because they were fearful and they were looking for safe investments. So I'm thinking about utilities or consumer staples, stocks or, or, or sectors, uh, really. Uh, I think the relative valuation now is pretty expensive compared to the rest of the market. So I think it can reverse quickly if the situation improves. So I think this is pretty much my views for uh, the second half of uh, 2022. Well, wow, so some volatility to come, but you're suing, you're seeing opportunities in, in growth uh, names. You're seeing opportunity maybe in rates due to dislocation. Um, so that's what happens. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you, Rose.